Welcome back to Yahoo Finance's uh, special presentation of the future of retail, or as I've been calling it, all special long, your pre-Black Friday kickoff show. I'm Brian Sazi, really still in the middle of New York City, the action where it's happening, really square. You see an H&M behind me, you see Macy's, lots of activity here in the city. Very interesting to be back out in the thick of it all. This was not the scene last year as the pandemic was absolutely raging. These streets were ghost lands, ghost lands, I assure you. Uh, but let's uh, let's stay on here, let's keep it moving and bring in Abercrombie & Fitch's CEO, Fran Horowitz, fresh off her earnings call a couple hours ago. Fran, always nice to see you. Wish you were here uh, with me doing this, but I will take you wherever you are. I can't exactly see you. Uh, so take us through uh, some aspects of the quarter. Uh, how is your momentum headed into the holiday season? Hey, Brian, so happy to be here. And yes, I wish I was out there. Um, with you shopping the stores in person. I'm looking forward to getting out there myself this Friday for Black Friday and feeling all that energy that you're feeling out there today. Listen, we reported a great third quarter, um, some really exciting statistics for us. Um, all the brands are firing at all cylinders. It's our best Q3 operating margin op income since um, almost a decade. Q3 sales best since 2014. Our product, our voice, and our experience are resonating. We are definitely heading into the holiday season with some momentum. Uh, help us understand the stock price reaction. I mean, we're not asking you to you know, trade the stock here or whatever it is. Just because uh, uh, the quarter to me looked good. I would say gross margins down 30 bips or basis points year over year. That is good in an environment where you're seeing inflation, you're seeing supply chain bottlenecks. Uh, how do you explain what happened here? Listen, Brian, I'm focused on the long term. Our gross margin on a two-year basis is up several hundred basis points, and we are we are ready to compete for holiday. We feel very good about our third quarter results, and we feel even better about where we are, um, you know, headed into the holiday season. This is a big week that's coming up, and it is just the beginning of, you know, four to five good weeks for us, best weeks of the year that um, really bring our customer out for both for, for self-purchasing and gifting as well. So let's, uh, let's dive into the U.S. results. Sales up double digits. Uh, how did Abercrombie do, and how did Hollister do? Company was up 17 percent, um, 17 and 18. Sorry, 17 percent um, for both brands in the in the U.S. That has been our, our it is our largest market, as you know, and it's been our strongest results um, year to date. We're really seeing a very healthy consumer here in the U.S. What do you think uh, consumers gravitate towards too? We were just talking to uh, Foot Locker CEO Dick Johnson, and I realized that my wardrobe is completely out of style. What are people buying? Well, that's great news. We love to hear that. We love to hear a consumer that's ready to go shopping. <laughs> I'm sure. Um, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start with denim. You know, denim, we just set a record for the company for the third quarter, our best denim in history. We are seeing so many exciting trends happening in denim across, actually across men's and women's. You know, he and she are responding to all the new fits that are out there. I certainly hope you bought our 90s uh, straight jean for men's. That's one of our one of our best sellers. At the same time, we saw another record for dresses in Abercrombie. Uh, our Abercrombie female shopper, she is out there. She's socializing. She's ready for holiday. And at the same time, we're still seeing cozy, right? We're still seeing nice selling in our knits and our fleece. So whatever your occasion is, we are ready there to, to dress you for whichever occasion, whoever you want to celebrate the holidays this year. If you were implying that, uh, you know, I should head back to the 90s, you might be right. That probably was the last era I was pretty cool in. Uh, help settle the record for us. Are, are skinny jeans, are they out of style? Is that now just a trend that's just not going to play post-pandemic? You know what, Brian? My favorite word, and everyone on campus knows this, is balance. It's very important to keep, keep your assortments balanced. We are still seeing a customer who's interested in the skinny jean. And when the season changes, as you are out there in the cold today and people start to wear their boots, they're going to be looking for skinny jeans. Our wide leg jeans and our newer fits, our mom, our dad, our flair, those are selling extremely well. So what's exciting is she actually needs both in her closet. So she may have a skinny jean, she may need a refresh in her skinny jean, but she definitely needs some of the new silhouettes out there. Uh, I think I did a double take. Uh, I've been seeing a lot more cargo pants from the late 90s for guys uh, appear back in stores and online. Uh, why is the cargo pant coming back? The 90s is the 
biggest influence that's happening out there for our consumer today. They're taking a lot of their style cues from TikTok. Um, you know, TikTok has really been the most influential social platform that's out there. And when our customers are seeing something on TikTok, they're adopting earlier than they ever have before. Uh, let's head overseas, Fran. Uh, the sales were down uh, in the third quarter, both in, in Europe and Asia. Uh, is, that, is that the direct effect of the pandemic? It just hasn't ended overseas at all. Listen, Brian, we, we believe so. You know, as you mentioned earlier, terrific um, what we've seen happening in the U.S., uh, definitely a much slower recovery, both in EMEA as well as in APAC. The good news is um, the UK, which is our second largest market out there, we are starting to see sequential improvement. We're starting to hear and see that the footfall and the customers back out shopping. In fact, we just opened up um, a new Abercrombie Adult store on Regent Street. We were able to relocate from Savile Row, where we opened a smaller, more intimate store that we've already seen a nice reaction to. In fact, I'm heading overseas next week um, to visit the team and visit that store, and I, I can't wait. Are you is Abercrombie still committed, uh, Fran, to, to the Asia Pacific region? We are, you know, it is our smallest and our newest region. It's less than 5% of our sales today. Um, we are building a team in the region. We have some really terrific talent that we've recruited in there and we are still committed to the region. Have you seen, in, uh, in, heading back to the US, have you seen international consumers come back? We have seen that travel ban lifted here. Are you starting to see some of these urban flagships, and I know you've closed a lot of the flagships, but you still have a presence, uh, of course, in urban areas. Have you seen that international tourist come back? You know, to your point, right, that ban was lifted very, very recently. We're seeing, you know, some tick back from, from that tourist customer. What we actually have seen is a domestic tourist, and we've been seeing that all year, uh, the domestic tourists around the United States um, visiting our stores. Fourth quarter, uh, do you anticipate that you have enough inventory to get through the holiday season? What have you done just to ensure you have clothes on the racks? <laughs> we do. So let's just start with, you know, we've been navigating these challenges, um, obviously since COVID and certainly for the first three quarters of this year. And the team has done an outstanding job getting our product from factory to the selling floor, as evidenced by the results that we've put up for the last three quarters. What's kind of interesting is this quarter, we're going to see a different cadence to our product. So where we would typically land most of our product by the fourth, by, by Black Friday, um, we will have newness from Black Friday all the way through holiday peak. So we are going to surprise and delight that customer all month. And we have marketing dollars targeted to make sure that we tell the consumer that there's considerable newness. So the best um, scenario would be the customer that comes out shopping early and then comes back and shops again because they've seen something else new and exciting in our assortments. Well, you heard here first, Abercrombie and Fitch CEO, Fran Har saying the 90s are back. Unfortunately, I gave all my clothes away, but maybe that's good for you, Fran. I can go back into your stores and restock on 90s and relive my high school glory. Fran Harris, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for doing this. We'll talk to you soon.